Hi, this is Bix and today we are going to rank all MLBB characters of how toxic they are or how toxic the players are. I think we have everyone, I'm not really sure, but yeah, these are the tiers. Hi, this is Bix again. I forgot to add what counts for me as toxic. First, the way of recall spamming. There's a difference between fun and toxic recall spamming. Second, obviously insults and chat. And third, trolling or intentional feeding because they lose or some arguments with their teammates. There are some other ways to be toxic, but let's concentrate on these three. God level toxic, like almost every time when you see this character, you know this player is toxic. Just normal toxic, not every time but usually when they win or lose it's very situational when they lose they get toxic but when they win they don't say anything but other way around when they win they get cocky and when they lose they lose all their confidence and stop writing sometimes it's like the normal middle almost like when they lose or win but not every time Chat is someone who actually never or almost never is toxic and maybe or helps the team. And I don't know because I never saw anyone play this character. And we start with Amon and I need to say I never have seen anyone being toxic as an Amon. He is very cool probably because he's not very a meta character, I know when people play against him, they are toxic because he can one shot them with his ult and so on, but the player is very cool. Uh, Akai, sometimes they like to recall spam a little bit, toxic also sometimes. Not really as much, but yeah. Aldos. I say he is toxic. There aren't many Aldos players, but most of the most of them are just very toxic because they think they win late game, and that's it. They're kind of like Argos. People are so toxic in early game. Because they think when they hit late game, there's an auto win button or something. And then they go 0-8 and they still win because their team is just better and not them. Well, maybe it's a little bit too harsh, I say, when they win or lose, probably a little bit more. Now let's see, I can correct it later. Alice, sometimes a little bit more sometimes than Akai. Also very few players, most of them are actually very good Alice players and they tend to recall spam, they try to you know, write some things that I can't say right now. Alpha, uh, I will say sometimes too, he's just very generic. Yeah. Most of the time there's recall spam, but they're not really doing anything. They're not feeding when they lose or something. So they're pretty normal. Alucard, toxic. I don't know why, but Alucard players are so toxic. I think when they buffed him, they got even more toxic. When he was a little bit bad or pretty bad. It was very okay to play with them, but now it's a little bit more toxic. Angela, toxic. Uh, toxic. They tend to feed and blame it on the team, which I think is also counts as toxic. But uh, Argos got level toxic. It's the uh, Worst version of Argos, uh, of all, all those no, Argos. Like I said, it's a little bit sad because Argos was my very first 
main when I played MLBV. It's very sad because people are very confident that they win in late game and they're so toxic, recall spam, they're trying to taunt you, very cringe taunt, they try to have some kind of roleplay where they think they're Argos and it's getting very edgy, weird, but they're so toxic. Ah, oh, a lot. Actually, I have never seen. So oh, okay. I saw one or two people, but I think he is the chat. Not as much as Amon, but yeah, I haven't seen many Amon players, but most of them were very cool about it, even when they lost because of the team. Most of them were pretty good and they lose because of their team, but they never really saying anything or feeding as such. Very cool. Uh, Atlas, to be honest, I don't know. Uh, a couple months before, I would say chat or maybe sometimes, but now he's just gone. I never see him, to be honest. I don't see him anywhere. Uh, Aldous, I say, almost chat, but now he counts as sometimes because uh, when they kinda win early game, they tend to get cocky, again taunting a little bit, is it all, or why don't you just surrender? Hashtag Dyra. A uh, little bit cocky, but most of the time they're not really saying much. Uh, Idora players are pretty chat. I think yeah, there are many Adora players now after this revamp thing, and most of them are very chill. Let me change it to chill. It's better than chat. They are chill, pretty much. Don't really say anything. When they lose, they lose. When they win, they win. Not very toxic. It's pretty cool to play with them. Badang. I never saw any Badangs. And when I have. Ah, oh, wait. I think this and last season I saw like 5 Badang players and every single one of them were toxic. So I have to do it. Maybe because I haven't seen many of them I will do when they win or lose this thing but yeah they are pretty toxic. Balmond. He looks pretty angry but he is very chill. Yeah. People don't really do anything with him. He is just a big meat shield with a pretty good ultimate to steal or secure objective. But yeah, same as Adora, not really doing anything, not really doing anything bad. Bane. I say sometimes. I haven't seen him often, but it gets a little bit weird sometimes with Bane players. Most of them are because of their teammates and the enemy. They somehow attract him to be toxic. Normally they're not toxic, but they're getting taunted very easily. And I don't know why. Barat is pretty chill. Well, when you play with him, it's chill. The enemy team is always being toxic, but it's not his problem, and he isn't really saying anything, so he is very cool. I never saw him. I 
never played. Uh, I played a couple times against him, and I don't even know his name because this season I haven't seen him, and last season where I just joined MLBB again, I haven't seen him. Or oh, like two times, I think. Oh, do I know his name? Nope. Beatrix. Hmm. I say when uh, sometimes they're pretty much okay. When they start winning the lanes, then they get a little bit cocky, but it's just a little bit, not much. Sometimes they're saying, "Hey, my team sucks" or something. But most of the time they're not really doing anything. I think they need to use their brain to use her properly with all her abilities and so on. I think they don't have the brain capacity to write something. This is also Mr. Chill himself. Very cool player. I years ago I played with one guy and we became pretty close friends. But now I don't have him in my friend list because he I think he stopped playing ML and I stopped playing ML too and I played Riot Rift for a couple years or like for one year and then I stopped playing MOBAs completely and now I joined again but he is not there anymore pretty sad but he was a really chill guy pretty nice Vendetta's alright to I say when they win or lose. They're also not really saying much, but almost never when they lose. When they lose, they really are quiet as fuck. Most time when they win or have just a little le lead, they're getting really toxic. Yeah. And... Yeah. Oh, I forgot his name. Oh, I just played him today, I think. What was his name again? Yeah, okay, I forgot his name. Happens. Uh, let's say sometimes there are some people when you get a lead, they start getting toxic a little bit, but not very often. It's just sometimes. It's probably because when you trigger him a little bit, then he starts doing it a little bit like Bane or something. Oh, have I played in this season? I think yes. Bruno, I played against him and he was very toxic. But it wasn't... I haven't played many matches. Say, Bruno players are pretty ch sometimes almost chill, but the last couple of times they weren't really friendly or happy in general. Not really nice, but it's okay. Ah, oh, Brody. Now I know his name. Actually, I never saw him. Let me take him down a little bit because it's very rare that this happens and it's not sometimes anymore it's pretty rare when someone is toxic with Brody so I think he can chill with the big boys Carmella I never really played her I have never seen her really uh, lately I have seen a couple players and they are totally chill. They're emoting but not this toxic emoting, it's more of a fun emoting, they're not really recall spamming or writing anything, it looks like they have fun. Probably it's the only thing you can have with Camilla. Uh, I would love to put him next to her, but I need to bump him up a little bit. Also, I almost never 
see players. I never seen any players. Weirdly enough, he's always on my team and not performing very well and then being toxic sometimes too. Jungles, very toxic, very toxic people. I almost think they're god level toxic to be honest. There's so many jungle players and they're so toxic but not as Argos. So as I left her here at the top of toxic. She is very toxic. Stealing your blue buff, especially. Never the enemy blue buff, always your blue buff. For no reason. Chip. Mm. I think there was this one player that was very, very toxic. But I only have played like two games with him. So I don't know. But if I played more with him, I would put him in toxic properly. Joe's god level toxic, the same as Argos. But most of them are pretty good. In early game, it's all it's okay. But yeah, they're every every time they are super toxic. Oh, sorry. Uh, super toxic. Every game, late game, early game, mid game, every time. And most of the time they are <clears throat> they are good in the beginning, but when they start taunting they lose like every brain cell and start feeding and then they get toxic even more. Uh oh oops. CC never played against uh, ah yes two times i think but that's it i don't really know claude i say sometimes almost chill but there aren't as many claude players that i see play them the only claude player i see is me and yeah i don't really think he's chill he has the potential to being chill but sometimes they are pretty much toxic uh, I have never seen what well, yeah, once or twice but it's okay film players are pretty chill most of them most of them are <clears throat> oh that was my voice most of them are pretty chill in early game. They stomp the enemy team or my team. Mid game they are also chill, but in late game then they are getting a little bit toxic when they lose or are getting a very big lead. But I think that's normal. Uh, Cyclops, my one-eyed friend is pretty chill. Well, not really when I play with them, but the enemy is always chill. They're not recall, spa recall spamming or being toxic, taunting when they get a lead or winning. They just play the game and that's it. Diggy, yes, toxic. I think we all know that. Well, most of them. It's like a 50 50 thing, so when they win or lose, probably. It's really a 50 50 thing. thing. Sometimes. Uh, the last season, or the couple seasons before I played this game again, they were pretty chill, but now they are got a little bit more toxic. Dire Ah. Die rough, die rough. What are you? I think they are pretty much yeah toxic. Every time when he wins a one v one with like one HP, recall spamming and GG easy in the chat. And yeah, that's actually it. 
it's not as much, but it's every time. So it's still for me pretty toxic. Because he's also very popular. Oh Edith is sometimes I think. Wow, we still have some left. Wow. Edith sometimes, I think. Haven't seen yeah, I haven't seen many of them playing. But most of them were pretty chill. It just sometimes. Oh well. Not really. I think they are pretty chill players. I played yesterday against her. She was beating my meat hundreds time, hundred times, and yeah, nothing came from her. That was coming from my teammate, <laughs> but not her. So that's pretty nice. Ah, sometimes. Oh, I forgot her name. Very nice. Maybe I forgot her name because I hate her. I love it when they nerfed her, but now they buffed her again. Or a couple weeks ago. And yeah. She is okay. Pretty much. Whenever they get a lead. But not every time. So sometimes when they get a lead. When they lose, they never say anything. But when they win. They sometimes are toxic. Estes! Uh, I say sometimes because they are this funny toxic. If you know what I mean. They are toxic, they are recall spamming, but you know it's more because of fun. You're not getting mad when an Estes recall spams. Because he's not the one really doing damage or chain TCU. He's just there to heal his teammates and that's it. You can't really be mad at him for being this. Eudora. Toxic when they win or lose. Pretty much. Well, yes. Not really when they lose again. Sometimes when they lose. But when they win... Most of the time, they are getting toxic. Uh, I say most of them are toxic. Probably because they trained like five years to play this character, and when they get a little bit of a lead, they start getting toxic, saying it's just too easy. Or when they lose, they just blame everyone else. It's just how fanny players are. Faramas! Chill people. Chill people. No. Yes. Chill people, I need to say. Very nice people. Most of the time. Rarely. I think only once I've seen a toxic Faramas. But, yeah. I like Faramas. I like that he finally got some skins. And the first mythic skin, mythic skin, uh, said I couldn't buy this mythic skin because at that time I didn't play MLBB, I think, or well, I quit MLBB. Florian, uh, it's just when they win or lose, they are pretty often toxic, but I wouldn't say they are toxic, just pretty often when they lose. When they win, they don't say anything, but when they lose, they start bl blaming everyone else. Mr. Toxic himself, yes, Franco players, very toxic, and he has the special effect that when he misses his ability, everyone else gets toxic too. It's a very nice ability from him. It's a nice fifth ability, a secret ability to make everyone toxic. Uh, I think he is pretty chill. I forgot his name because I don't see many players anymore. But of, most of them weren't really toxic at all. They were pretty chill. 
Oh. It's uh, not God lover. It's as toxic as Die with I think. I think they are perfectly the same. They are every time toxic, every time when they win in early game. Well, well and sometimes in late game she's getting toxic. Because I think because she's a pay to win character, people are automatically very toxic and because she's so good people are getting even more toxic and Freya players are pretty toxic and now even more. So yeah I would say she is toxic but not god level toxic. I think almost when there are more players who play her but right now it's okay. I don't see as many Gato Kacha sometimes Nope when they win or lose. Pretty much almost like die rough, but not every time. Just sometimes. When they win a little bit, they Yeah, getting toxic a little bit. Rico spamming, GGEs and something. Blaming sometimes a team. But yeah. I haven't played against him or with him for a while now, so I don't really know what he is. I think he was pretty chill, or maybe sometimes. God players, God players are very chill, in my opinion. Not very good, <laughs> not very good players, but they are very chill. Granger players are. Almost chill, but I think it's more like sometimes it's very bad sometimes. But it's well, it's very bad rarely. It's rare, but pretty bad. I think when they crit someone and they die, or they get some kind of snipe with uh, his ultimate. Then they start to getting toxic a little bit. Well, more than a little bit. Grow players. I haven't seen many of them. Uh, yeah. I haven't seen them in ages. She is pretty toxic, I think. Oh. She is most of the time just engaging and then it's a 50-50 chance if she succeeds or fails. When she fails, she blames the team. When she succeeds, she is pretty chill. So sometimes. Oh well, it's actually when they win or lose. And they're pretty decent player base of Juniver. Juniver? I don't really know how to say her name. Uh, toxic. They are pretty toxic. When they lose, they blame the team. When they win, they are toxic. It's just very bad with them. There are people who are very nice, I need to say, but most of the time they are pretty toxic. Hanabi players are uh, pretty chill uh, sometimes. Most of them are pretty chill, but there are just too many for being chill in general. I think most of the time they're not really saying anything because they're already brain dead. Every time I see a Hanabi, the Hanabi player, I feel like they just stop using a their brain. They're just standing and using basic attacks. Sometimes the ultimate when they have it ready and then using their shield. And that's it. And then they sometimes start blaming the team, which I don't really understand. Hanzo players. Uh, I have not seen anyone for a pretty big time. 
I, th I think last time I played, I haven't seen anyone too, so yeah, nobody plays Handel. I play him sometimes. Oh well. Now when I think about it, every time, most of the time, when I see him, it's just when he doesn't get jungle roll and then he starts feeding. So I say it's pretty much god level toxic. He's just the character for trolling your team. And this is pretty much god level toxic for me. Not many players, but because of this tactic exists, he has to be god level toxic. If you think of any god toxic strat, the first thing that comes to my mind is Hanzo. Uh, Mr. Cat Ear Boy, I say. He is sometimes toxic. Well, no, I never saw someone being toxic with Harris, except me. And yeah, that doesn't count, so he's pretty chill. Uh, I don't know about him. There are few players or some players. They're not really saying anything. So I think they're chill, but they have just this vibe that they're a little bit toxic. I don't know if you understand me, but they are pretty much chill. They're not really recall spamming or just saying something stupid. They are pretty chill, but you have this vibe when you see him that there's something toxic about him. But that doesn't count, so yeah, he's pretty chill. Hayabusa's uh, sometimes. Uh, some people are pretty toxic. Why right when you get one kill or something in early game, they start getting cocky. Recall spamming and so on. But it's not every time, rarely, but because people play him very often, this rarely rounds up to sometimes. Hey, Kurt players. They are pretty chill. Very annoying, but they are chill. I hate him now, but he doesn't really do anything wrong. Hilda players, I... Sometimes... Well, it's rarely. Most of the time, there aren't as many Hilda players. And it's only sometimes or rarely they are toxic, but most of them just play the game. Win early game a little bit, but then feeding late game pretty much. Pilots players are chill. Well, they're just there, tanking everything and kill stealing sometimes too. But they are very chill. I haven't seen her in ages, I think. I can't remember the last time I played with her or against her. I also can't remember how toxic players were. Ixia, I know she is pretty good in eSports. She is popular in eSports, but I never see her in rank or classic or brawl. So I need to say, I don't really know. Uh, I say it's like Estes. It's he is toxic. Hello, can I do this? Yeah. Players are toxic, but most of the time it's more like a happy toxic. Sometimes it's a bad toxic. And yeah, it's a little bit worse than Estes because he's almost only happy toxic. But here it's sometimes bad toxic. 
there aren't as much players, but after the buff, there are more and more players playing him, and they are not really toxic, I need to say. People who are play Joyhead, yeah, now I know his name, Joyhead, are pretty chill, but still there are too many to put him in chill that are toxic. Johnson players are toxic. Yeah. I don't think you really need to say anything. They are just toxic. I think it's just because of their ult. When the adrenaline hits and you hit a car or wall, yeah, they start to getting being toxic a little bit. Mm, sometimes I would say, but I rarely played against her or with her. But I think it's enough to say sometimes. There are sometimes. Well, I don't really know. It's more like chill, but there's so few players that it counts a little bit too much when there's someone toxic. Well, I put that in, I don't know, because I really just don't know right now. Julian players are chill most of the time. I also like Julian as the hero. He is pretty chill, players are pretty chill, doing a lot of damage. I think now they're getting a little bit more toxic because it's easy to have a lead with him. But right now it's still okay for me to call him chill. Uh, Cardita. It's just sometimes, but also very few times. Uh, as a Tadita players are very chill. There are some, but I will count this as rarely. Kagura players are pretty chill. I think it's the same with. Or actually Beatrix, where they don't really say much because they have to concentrate on hitting the umbrella, but it's way less toxic players than her. I forgot her name again. Uh, uh, well, nobody plays him, but I know people who play him are very chill. I think I played him ju just once, this and last time, and he was pretty chill. In Brawl I see him more often, and he's also chill in Brawl. Main players are very toxic in Brawl, I don't know why, but every time. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I never see her again. I never see her this or last season, to be honest. I think with the new Assassin Medal, I will maybe see her, but right now I don't know anything about her. Uh, why I don't know so many names? I think sometimes. Well, now when I think about it, there are m very many toxic players. I forgot their name again, why? But yeah, uh, it's not toxic. Well, when it, well, it's not toxic because of her, it just the people who play against her and with her are getting toxic. But I don't count it as toxic because of this. It's just a little bonus, just like Franco. Khalid's players are pretty chill. I play him. I like to play him. He is some kind of unique with his second ability here. Yeah. They are pretty chill, not really doing anything, 
just destroying me. Uh, I also haven't seen him very often, but the times I saw him, they were pretty toxic to be honest. But most of the time when they lost, and just rarely when they are really winning. So Kimmy, 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 Kimmy never saw her. I don't know. Lancelot players, they are toxic. Am I going to say God level toxic? Mm, no. They are toxic because good players are toxic, bad players are most of the time not toxic. But it's just so often that they are toxic. It's most of the time the enemy, the enemy uh, lands a lot. They are toxic because whenever I get them, he goes 0 15. Not being toxic, but yeah. Pretty boy himself. I haven't seen him in ages too. Well, sorry. I don't really see him in rank or in any other mode. I don't know why he is. I understand why you want to play him. He is pretty fun. But people can't get used to him, I think. Every time I see someone play him, they are pretty bad, to be honest. Layla players are toxic. Well, when you are lower in rank, they are pretty chill. But the higher your rank, the more toxic they get. And it gets really bad, to be honest. Really, really bad. I think it's because it's Layla. That's why also other people go mad with her. Leomord, chill. I love him, I love his skins, or one of his skin, his Halloween skin, I think is my favorite skin. He is pretty chill, I'm not really seeing anyone play him except me. And also when I play him, I feel like I'm getting a little bit less toxic with him. So I think he is pretty chill. Leslie players are... Sometimes, well, actually, rarely. They're rarely toxic, not really saying much. Well, leading players? A couple weeks ago or months ago, I would say chill or sometimes, but now people win with him a little bit too easy and now they're getting more and more toxic with him. But I say it's still only sometimes. I think one month or a couple weeks maybe. Then I think when they win or lose. But now it's just sometimes. Lolita players are chill. Very chill. Uh, I forgot her name because I never play her. But people who play her are sometimes chill. They're almost rarely chill, but there are one or two people who are just too much. Well, I think it's a little bit unfair to say that. I put her in chill. I feel like she's a chill character and people who play her are pretty chill. She's sometimes chill. Yeah, sometimes they're pretty chill, sometimes they're pretty toxic. Most of the time when they win, they're getting toxic. But it's not really very bad toxic, it's always a little bit toxic, just like Dyra. 
but also when they win and lose, they are getting a little bit toxic. Lydia players are chill. Very annoying, but chill. Oof. I like him. I also also try to main him. But Mart's players are sometimes toxic. I would say well, maybe when they win or lose. Because there are quite few players who are toxic with him. But I think it's sometimes. Not very much. Mostly when you steal his kills, or when he dies too often, then he gets toxic. Marsha players are pretty chill. There are a few people who get extremely angry when they lose, but most of them are just, you run to him and attack him. If you die, you die. If you win, you win. Matilda, not characters, players are also pretty chill, I think. People blame her most of the time, but they're not really fighting back. It's probably because of Matilda. They, they are getting more passively, but yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Melissa? I thought when they win or lose, or only sometimes, but the last couple times they are getting so toxic so so toxic it's pretty bad now i don't know why so suddenly they just started becoming so toxic uh he is pretty chill i think minotaur players i haven't seen many despite he being very good of a tank but they are very chill most tank players are pretty chill. Oh. But there's one tank player who is toxic. Do I see him here? No. Oh. Wait, I don't think he is here. Ah, yes, he is here. Okay, okay. Oof, Minsita players. I don't, but I haven't seen anyone for quite a while. I can only say I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I think about them, but I don't really know because I see nobody playing them. I've seen probably more Dire players than all of these players combined in one day. Mia players, they aren't as toxic as Layla, but it's also a little bit bad. It's more when they lose, they're getting toxic. When they win, they don't say anything, they just enjoy the game. But when they lose, they are pretty toxic most of the time. And I feel it too, when I play her and I lose, then I don't know, I get suddenly so toxic. I don't really blame my team, but I just get toxic. I know it was my mistake, but it's just... Uh, I start getting angry and I don't know why. It's just when I play with Mia. Moscow players. I would say... Yes. I don't know, I say they're toxic. They almost got level toxic, but most of the time they aren't really saying much. There is a quite uh, there are many players are toxic, but most of the time when they win, when they lose, they don't really blame the team. Just sometimes or most of the time. Yeah, people are pretty toxic with him. It's like Argos, where they're getting cocky a little bit. Where, because of his late game. But not as much as Argos. Other players are pretty chill. 
Oh, flash track. Ah, players are pretty chill. Not really doing much. Ah, Natalia players are uh, sometimes. I don't really see her oft often. But they are sometimes. When they win, they are happy. When they lose, then they start getting toxic. Mm, I haven't seen him for a while. But when he, when someone plays him, they are pretty chill, I think. But I just haven't seen him in quite a while. Nolan players, I don't see Nolan players, to be honest. They're just gone. Oh, they, um, I say sometimes. It's not really when they win or lose. It's more like when they escape the attack, then they start getting toxic. When they escape something, they really start being toxic. I need to say the time. See the time a little bit, so yeah. I think I need to make it a little bit more quick. Because I have also things to do. Uh, oh, that players are chill. Most of the time. They're not really saying anything back. They are getting blamed most of the time, but they're, but they're not really saying much. Another hand, we have Paquito. He is pretty toxic. Well, yes. Mostly when they win. They start being toxic. When they lose, they don't really say anything. I think they are too embarrassed with their Paquito skills to say anything. Faza players are pretty chill. They're not really saying anything. Fulvius players, I have not seen Fulvius players in quite a while. But I have seen one yesterday in Brawl and he was pretty toxic. I don't even know who he was writing to. To be honest, he was Every time he killed someone, or when he died, he was writing to someone like things like Oh, that was too easy to kill you. Next time it's going to be even more easy. Or oh, your head hurts, probably because I smashed it to the ground so often. But I don't really know who he was talking about. Uh, Popol and Cooper. I think they are pretty chill. I don't see many of them. But they are pretty chill most of the time. Raffaello players. It's this is some kind of different bias. But every time I see her, not really the team gets toxic. But I get toxic. I don't know why, but I hate her when I when I have to play with her. I get so toxic. I don't really know why. Every time she does the tiniest mistake, I get angry, and I don't know why. When Essis does it, then it's for me pretty much fine. But when Rafaela does it, I don't know why, but I get toxic. They're never really writing anything back. I would say they are pretty chill, but just I can't because I get so angry with her. Roger players are chill, yes. Now I see more Roger players and they are pretty chill, destroying my team and me. But yeah, she is sometimes. Almost rarely, but just too often to be chill. I think now even less because she doesn't have this big of spell vamp in early game. But yeah, saver players are toxic in every rank, even when I play in Grandmaster. Or Master, I don't know what the 
rank is called Massa or Grandmaster. They are toxic too. And I don't know why. Saber players are starting very early with being toxic. And I would say when you're mythic, it's way less. Still sometimes, but it's way less when you climb up. I think Savers are respecting themselves a little bit more. That's why. Selena players are sometimes toxic. I'm not seeing very much of them. But I see them when they miss their start heating up, I say. And then when they die or when her team dies, then they unleash the toxicity into the match. Sylvana players are pretty chill. They are most of the time they're writing something, but it's not something toxic. It's more like of an apology sometimes. They are feeding and they write something like, oh, I don't know how to play this character. I'm sorry. Can someone help me? Or something like this. Wukong players are toxic. It's like the worst version of Argos. He isn't really good in early or in late game, to be honest. But people are still very toxic with him for no reason. He is pretty chill. I like him. Playing against him is also very cool, nothing really stressing about it. They are pretty much chill, probably because they are like a second tank. But yeah, that's it. Tamus players. I haven't seen Tamus players in ages. But most of them are chill. I don't think I ever saw someone with Tamus being toxic. Uh, just very very rarely. I thought when I had the idea of this video that people with Tamus are toxic, but there aren't as many people being toxic with him. Even though he has something like Argos, like I thought. But no. Oh, now we have this tank. You maybe think players are chill, especially because of the new players, but I say because of the more experienced players who play him are start getting so toxic. Most of the time when they start to hold like three people and then they expect his team to fly over him and kill the enemy team. And then they start getting toxic and die most of the time. When they win it's everything okay and sometimes being toxic but every time, every time when they lose they start being toxic and there's just, just too much for this tier. Okay, we are almost done. I think Rainus is ah uh, done as many players, so I say chill most of the time. People are pretty pretty chill with him, just fl floating around the map, tanking a little bit of damage, and then running away and then coming back. Bale players are sometimes toxic. I don't see as many Bale players, but before when he was popular, he still was sometimes. Rarely when he lost, more like when he got a lead or something, when he got a triple kill with his ult, then he stopped being toxic. And just once or twice I saw him being toxic when he was feeding. Valentina players are pretty chill. 
Well, I don't know. It just the barely matches that I played against or with her. Most of the time, I didn't really notice her, but yeah. Balier players, it's like when they when they win, probably. I think it's not when they win or lose, when they are very fat or when they feed very much. That's it, when they are getting toxic. But just when they win a little bit or lose a little bit, it's okay, but just when they do something very much, then they start getting toxic. Vexana players. I say, well, I think Vexana players are pretty chill. Not really saying anything, I think. Yeah. Well, uh, they are, she is pretty popular, so I say, sometimes. Mormon players are pretty toxic and people who hate her are pretty toxic. Uh, I say toxic. She's just very toxic. Savior players are pretty chill. Um, Xbox players when they lose or win, there aren't as many Xbox players, Xbox players, no. but yeah, it's pretty bad sometimes. Most of the time when they lose, when they win, they're also toxic, but not as often when they lose. Yeah. I have never played with him. Or against him. The last couple, I don't know, hundred matches I played, never seen him. Gym players. I say, gym players are pretty chill. But what I have noticed is people who play against him, and when he is getting a lead a little bit, then the enemy team just gets crazy and they blame each other yeah and they blame each other it's a little side effect as franco but the difference is gym players are toxic franco players are toxic you zone players they are toxic when they win when they lose, it's okay, but when they win, they get pretty much weird, I say. It's not really because they are saying something. It's more like the actions are sometimes very weird and a little bit of toxic. I for Eve players, I see even less than him. Last players. Uh, sometimes. Well, it's almost when they win or lose, but I say it's sometimes. It got better with him. Now that he's more good, he people are also better, <laughs> not as toxic. But still, there are some people. And our last one, the long. The long players are chill. They're not really saying anything. They're just playing the game and are having fun. And yeah, that's it. That's my tier list. Well, I still don't know what I can do with them. I think I just let them in this I don't know category. But I hope you had fun. Sorry for my English. English is not my first or second language. It's my third language. But yeah, I hope you had fun. 
like subscribe if you want to see more and maybe you can comment what tier list i can do next and that's it bye